Welcome back, Diecast Collectors. So today, this is my first review. I got these all from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to be doing a review of this Greenlight Hot Pursuit. It's a 1967 Chevrolet Biscon. I'm saying that right. Um, we've got an M2 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. And... We have an M2 1967 Ford F100 custom cab. So, I got these all from Hobby Lobby. So let's start with the Hot Pursuit. One thing I like about all these cars is they've got a metal top, they've got a metal bottom with nice rubber tires. And Hot Pursuit gives on the back a little information about where the car is from. Unlike these on the back, they give you the pieces. Um, they do have a little case, which is really nice. And then a bottom piece that holds the car in place that tells you about the car. So let's start with the Hot Pursuit. Another thing I like about these is they're very, they're packaged very nicely. If you drop it, it's not gonna crack or break. And they're sealed very well so nothing gets into the car and like, I have a little brother. As soon as I set this home, he's going to try to rip into it and play with it. So it's packaged that he's really got to use scissors and work to get into it. So he's not going to be able to get to your collection. Or damage the car in any way. If I can get it open here. Almost there. All right. Another thing about the Hot Pursuits is they come in this little case and they have the front of the car on it. So I guess if you like to sit your collection up on a wall, you could keep this. Um, I prefer to take them out. So let's start with the green light here. First look, it's very nice. One thing I love about green light is you can you can see a lot of the details. You've got the sheriff on the side. Um, you can see the really nice grading in the front. It's a little blurry there. But it's got really nice headlight details. You can see the bumper number there. Um, license plate number. All the details are painted in really nice. This one appears to only have an opening hood. See if I can get it open here for you guys. It's kind of hard to work with your arms around the camera. My other, I have one other green light, which is also a police car. It's a Hollywood series. This would be um, the one from Once Upon a Time, the sheriff car, which I got from Target. Target also has green lights. So as you can see, it's also got all the little writing on it. Very detailed. This is a, I believe, 2009 Ford Interceptor. So I got the hood open for you. And as you can see, there's a lot of detail in there. You've got all the different parts of the engine. One thing I love about this car is I like the old style. I love the sirens and the lights on top. And it rolls really smooth. Great to, uh, car to have in your collection or to play with. It's got that metal base, like I said, and the nice rubber tires. Um, I've got a couple of other cars. I've got this one, which is also this, the doors on this one open. This one's slightly used more. This is, it does not say what that's made by. And then I have a nice truck here, which I got for $3 at a garage sale. This is made by Ertl. Um, I plan to use that one in my movies soon. And then it's got this nice trailer with the stand. The back opens and slides up. So, but back to our review. Just overall, really nice piece. It costs less because it does not have the case. It costs about a dollar less than the other ones. I think this one, this one costed seven dollars. These costed eight. So it's overall really nice car. You might hear my brother smashing around in the background. All right, next we're gonna open 
our M2 1967 Camaro. So let's put that open there. Oh, it's got stickers. Thing I don't like about these is if you can see in this one here, there's a crack on the case, which isn't a big deal because the car's not damaged, but I'm guessing someone in the store dropped it. I was able to get this for $6, so $2 off, because I told the lady at the checkout counter, so she gave me a discount because it was damaged. So, wasn't a big deal. I got $2 off, which is really like a dollar off of the car, so... All right, here we go. So as you can see, the case comes apart. There's this back piece, which you can either leave on or take off. It makes a good background if you're showing off cars. So as you can see, the case overall is really nice. Looks like um, it has an opening.